Bad boy, bad boy, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they testify on you? <laughs> we finna find out. But first, intro. Yo, what's good, fam? Bam, it is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all, we are having a look at another uh, Art of Dialogue video where they are um, asking my man Keefy, Keefy, Gene Deal. Um, well, apparently, the video is called I Will Testify That Diddy Had a Relationship with Keefy D. Diddy will be in jail with new evidence. So apparently, they're asking a uh, Gene Deal. As to whether or not if he would testify to basically confirm as to whether or not um, he, as to what, well, ask him to confirm as to whether or not Diddy and or Keefy D um, had a, a, a relationship of some kind or some kind of friendship or something. I don't know. Easy for me to say. But anyway, let's go ahead and hear what my man Gene Deal has to say in regards to this by liking the hit here. So you feel like they going after Puffy. If they do, they'll need proof that, you know, Keefy D and Puffy had a relationship. And you, you pretty much the main eyewitness that can confirm that they was friends, so. Stop it, man. No, you said a mouthful right there. Bruh, eyewitness, they were, they did have a relationship. Ooh, if they actually had a relationship, like my man said, yeah, things aren't looking good for Diddy. Keefy D, I've seen them on a number of times. We were, they were gambling together. They were drinking together. They had fun. They was hanging out in hotels. Yes, they did have a relationship. Ooh, boy. <laughs> oh, Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. You better, you know, start praying. And if I were you, I'd play that, that, that song from Mace off of his Harlem World album, you know, if you had 24 hours to live, where would you go? What would you do? Right, let's go. That's no if and a buts about it. That was before me. That, that was before Zip. Them two had a relationship. Keefy D and Puff. That's that's known. You understand? So now, uh, as far as me having any information whether he commissioned Keefy D to do a murder? Nah, bruh. That's not, that That ain't me. I can say, yo, they can ask me, did I see Keefy D? Yes, I did. What? Was he around? Yes, he was. What? In what capacity was he around? Gambling, having fun, drinking, and talking. Did he ever did security? No, he did not. What? Mm. Now, did he use his manpower his dudes around him around us and people could thought they was a part of us yes they were oh boy it made us seem like we had crips with us doing security it made it seem like it but they wasn't they was there to have fun and chill now if something jump off would they have done something maybe they would have but there's not no time that I know of that they were being paid to be there. They would be they was giving free tickets to party to come there and have fun. And that's how Puff used dude. So if they call you, you don't have no So that means that Diddy technically, from what I'm hearing from Gene Deal, has ties to the Crips. Again, that's not a good look. Not a good look. So if they call you, you don't have no problem testifying. You 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 you're being leading, as the lawyer would say. Uh, your questions was leading right there. If they want me, if they want me to testify, if they want me to testify, I'm going to testify and tell them what I know. What I seen. The times I seen him, like they say, he was at Soul Train with us. He was never at Soul Train with us. Are you serious? Ooh, not one time. Ooh. But they got him being at Soul Train with us. What? He was at Soul Train with somebody else. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not going to lie for nobody. 
bro, you got to realize, you know, Vegas is uh, feel right there. They got circumstantial evidence. Mm -hmm. They have no physical evidence. Where's the gun? Where's the car? You understand? Where's the eyewitness? Murder is one of the hardest things to prove, bro. Nine times out of ten, it's like people who sitting to buy bars for murder. They plead, they play it out. They didn't, they ain't go to trial. They got a lesser charge. Whether if they they started with first degree murder, they might went down to second degree or manslaughter or impraving difference. Assault in the first degree with impraving difference. It's hard to prove. And with no evidence, 27 years later, oh, everybody's sitting up there saying, oh, he said it. He said it on he said it on tape. He said he was going around bragging. He was going around saying this. Bruh. Who put that information out first? Who put the information out first? The police. The police put that out. Oh, so them all, they gonna break the proffer agreement. Everybody, all the guys right now who the 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 DEA, the FBI, <laughs> the uh, the ATF, anybody who, who got a federal crime against them, and they sit up there and try to say, yo. We're going to give you a proffer agreement, which we know that's queen for a day and that thing. Dude got to go in there and testify. You know what's going to happen? You know what they're going to say? Man, you ain't going to cade in me. How <laughs> 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 be sitting up there telling you everything, and then this shit good being taped, and it don't supposed to be taped? Dudes is like, yo, you ain't going to cade in me. Not at all. So... They don't have no evidence. They don't have no physical evidence. And then if Keefe D go in there, he was like, yo, they put that out. You know, so I just rolled with what they were saying. I was lying. I want to sell books. I want to do shows. How many times Keefe D was on your show? He was on your show because he was supposedly been in the car that the guys that murdered Tupac. That's the and supposedly he was um, getting jealous and heated with the fact that somebody else uh, Officer Greg Kading was telling his story and everything. So, you know, so Keefe put put himself, of course, on, on camera to tell, quote unquote, his story. Yeah, man, this is it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I still say it's a confession, man. You put yourself at the scene. You put yourself in, in, in the car. And again, according to uh, Nevada law, you know what I'm saying? You don't necessarily have to be the trigger man in the crime, but if you were there, right, you're you're involved. You know what I'm saying? And if you handed the weapon off to the trigger man, then you aided, you you abetted. You know what I'm saying? You helped out with with the with um getting the uh, hit done. So, you know, he he's like I said, out of the way, he's still guilty. He's guilty by association. You know what I mean? At least, if anything, but he he's still just as guilty as whoever it was that that pulled the trigger and shot Pac. The only reason he was on the show. They they got one eyewitness. He may not testify, but he made a statement on national television, TMZ. Talking about Suge Knight. Suge Knight. Yep. Free Keefe D. He wasn't even in the car. <laughs> right? Didn't he say that? Yep. Right, right. That's the only eyewitness we know. If the prosecutor them come up with something, if they follow the letter of the law, Keefe D would be home. If they have something that we have not heard of nor saw that can incriminate him more, and incriminate Puff more, then we're going to have two people going to jail. But if they don't have anything that we haven't already heard of, that we haven't already saw, he'll be back at the crib, chilling. 
Crip dancer. Hmm. So a very interesting take from Gene Deal. Um. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. This this looks like they can this can go either way. I don't know, man. I I I still say, you know, Keefe. Like I said, if he put himself at the scene, then he basically declares himself as being involved. And again, according to Nevada state law, you know what I mean. And really, this goes for in a majority of states, if not every state. But if you even if you're just there, and you witness, you know, the the crime going down, you're still just as guilty, you know. Again, if you if you assisted in any way, if you assisted, you you still are equally accountable as the person who actually committed the hit. So I don't know, man. But then he, it, it it's tricky because he's saying, oh, he could be paid to be to to say something like that. You know what I mean? So who knows if what he he's saying is even credible? Suge said he wasn't there, but then Suge. It, it's not exactly a credible witness either. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, look at all the things that he said throughout the years. You know what I mean? He was the one to even try to help, you know, push that whole Tupac is still alive uh, deal and whatnot. So, who, who who knows? Who knows? And he said when Pac was shot that day that he and him were, they were laughing and joking or whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? But again, we have not heard from Pac since 96. Like I said, we've seen pictures, we've seen videos throughout the years of, you know, a black man with shaved dome, goatee, slim build, but he doesn't have all the tattoos, and people will say, oh, he, he got his tattoos removed and whatnot, and it's like, I don't know, man, I don't know, but, um, and then as far as Diddy's involvement is concerned, if it really did happen, that like my man said, there has to be, you know, physical evidence to prove that he, yeah he was involved or whatever right now all they have is that Keefe and Diddy do have a personal relationship you know what I'm saying outside of the music business and whatnot that's all they got and whether or not that's going to be enough I don't know time will tell but anyway feel free to share your thoughts and comments uh your your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below um, I look forward to checking out all y'all's comments in the comment section as I always do. Shout out to everyone that's been uh, subscribing and engaging with the content. Really appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? And if you're new here, hopefully y'all consider uh, hitting that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? And turn the notifications on. And don't forget to like, share, and as I mentioned earlier, comment in the comment section down below your thoughts, your feelings about this whole situation. And uh, yeah. And also don't forget we got merch. You know what I mean? Um, Got plenty of plenty of uh, items for y'all to choose from in my two uh, storefronts. But yeah, um, the options are definitely endless. And uh, yeah, shout out to everyone that's been buying merch too. By the way, that is I am greatly, greatly appreciative appreciative uh, for that as well. And uh, yeah, I think I nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy Jason JV. So y'all take care. Have a blessed one. I catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, Jason? My name is Jimmy Bass. I just want to have the next dude with a little bit. Who's Jimmy Sutton? Get your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!